One of the most difficult things in menswear is trying to find the perfect white t-shirt because I mean, there's so many out there, so many good ones, so many bad ones. And quite frankly, a lot of them kind of look and feel the same. And at the same time, luxury and high quality t-shirts don't really feel the way that people think that they do. I know that sounds a little crazy, but a high quality luxury t-shirt at the beginning of its life is actually very stiff. It's kind of starchy. It's a little rough, but over time, it's meant to break down and kind of mold to your body shape, kind of like a pair of raw denim. And eventually, it becomes this silky smooth vintagey kind of worn in very soft very drapey garment but that comes with wear that comes with time and basically high quality t-shirts begin their life with this kind of ruggedness because they're meant to last because they're meant to be durable and they're meant to be worn over and over again this isn't disposable clothing and i'll be honest when i first went into it i was surprised too i've gone through a lot of different t-shirt brands a lot of which you guys have seen on my youtube channel before and a lot of which you guys haven't seen that i never put up i mean i I've gone through countless brands of t-shirts trying to find the perfect white t-shirt and in my journey I found that you can't just find one particular perfect t-shirt they all serve different purposes they all have different weights they all come from different places they've got different cuts that work with different styles the different weights make them work with different seasons I mean there's so much that goes into what may or may not mean perfection but it really doesn't exist in the world of white t-shirts I mean even down to the color some t-shirts you get are stark white very paper white some are ivory and then there's some that are eggshell kind of creamy a little bit more on the natural side because they're an undyed cotton so they haven't been treated with bleach or harmful substances and I mean there's such a wide range of white that how can you really place a stamp of perfection on one t-shirt from one brand so that's why throughout my whole YouTube menswear journey I've been trying to find and narrow down some of my favorite white t-shirts and I guarantee that over time this list is gonna change because styles are always gonna change technology is always gonna advance new brands are are always coming up with these new ideas some of which we're going to talk about today so this video is probably going to be part one in what i'm going to call the best white t-shirt series on my channel and i'm going to run through so many different t-shirts talk about the details talk about the fit talk about the heritage the cotton all of this stuff to help you guys make a more educated purchase when it comes to trying to find that perfect white t-shirt for you so today we're going to start off with one of my personal favorite t-shirts a t-shirt that actually has a lot of meaning to me this is the mertzby schwannen 215 t-shirt that was worn by jeremy Alan White on the Bear FX series. And basically when I first started this fashion commentary journey, the videos that I did on the 215 shirt from Mertz B. Schwannen were some of my most popular on TikTok and YouTube at the time and really kind of helped put me on the map, so to speak. And I mean, this t-shirt really is truly exceptional. It is exceptional in quality. It is exceptional in fabric, in the construction details, the weight, the feel, and even the packaging is absolutely incredible when you first get it. I mean, Mertz B. Schwannen is so good at letting you know that this is, yeah, an expensive t-shirt. But what you get when you support Mertz B. Schwannen and you get your own 215 tee is something that's truly special and really deep rooted in German heritage. So basically, long story short, I'm not gonna go too deep into it. If you want a little bit more of an in-depth analysis, definitely make sure to go check out that Mertz B. Schwannen video that I did way back when. It is a really good one. But basically, long story short, Peter and Gita Plotnicki, who are both absolutely wonderful, hospitable people, they decided that they wanted to purchase authentic German loop wheel machines, which most of which don't even exist in this world anymore. They basically bought the last few that remained and wanted to re-engineer and recreate the perfect white t-shirt just like how it was way back when the brand was started by Balthazar Mers. And I mean, the slub, the character, the weight, the feel of this loop wheel fabric is truly unlike any t-shirt that I've ever had. And I really am not just saying that. You guys really have to try this for yourself so you can understand. Getting to hold and feel one of these, there's no wonder why they chose to use this t-shirt for the bear. I mean, this literally does feel like an expensive t-shirt. When you wear it, it even looks like an expensive t-shirt. And the thing is, I firmly believe that people can see quality even to the untrained eye. I mean, there's no wonder why everybody was going crazy for the t-shirt on the bear when nobody knew what it was because people can see that quality. People recognize it. And the Mertz B. Schwannen t-shirt speaks volumes about the love, the passion, the quality of Mertz B. Schwannen itself. This t-shirt comes with a beautiful binded collar, which is my personal favorite t-shirt collar just because I like things that look a little bit more vintage, a little bit more heritage, and this is how they were made way before. This also helps maintain the longevity of the collar, and you also have underarm gussets which allow for a little bit more stretch and also make the underarms a little bit more durable on these t-shirts. This is an expensive process to do because it's extra steps, but all in all, it makes for a beautiful t-shirt that you know you're gonna have in your wardrobe for a very, very long time. Next up, we got another one of my favorite brands, which is Left Field NYC. I mention them all the time. 
time on my channel. I'm always at the store. Big shout out to Christian over at Left Field. He's the owner. He always supports the channel. He's really a truly great guy, a classy gentleman. And what I love about his ethos of Left Field is that he wants to make purely and truly accurate American made garments, utilizing some of the best fabrics in the world, whether it's for their t-shirts, whether it's for their raw denim, whether it's for their fatigue pants, whether it's for anything that they make. Left Field NYC makes some of the best made in America garments that I've ever seen. And their t-shirts are no exception. If anything, besides the raw denim, their t-shirts are probably my favorite thing that the brand Left Field NYC has to offer. Their tube tees literally get sold out all the time because they literally almost perfectly replicate the fit of the t-shirt that is seemingly similar to what Marlon Brando or James Dean would have worn with the shorter shoulders, the shorter sleeve, a little bit of a wider body, but still relatively slim fitting in the waist. It's got enough length where you can actually tuck it in, which is how both of them wore their t-shirts. I mean, when you throw this t-shirt on, you literally feel like you're time traveling. It is an absolutely exceptional t-shirt that has this really kind of very rustic kind of fabric because it's got a little slub in it and you can see some tiny natural pulls that occur during the knitting process of the fabric that usually a cloth technician would go in and kind of fix if this were to be a t-shirt that was striving for perfection rather than for historical accuracy. This is just the way that they were made back then. Things like this happened. Things were not perfect, especially within the fabric. So this t-shirt mirrors that and it gives you that exact same feel that you would expect from something like a 1950s Hanes t-shirt back when they were great. This t-shirt is 100% made in America and it also comes with side seams that allow for a little bit more of a sculptured fit. The sewing, the construction, everything is cleanly done. I mean, I've worn these and beat these up so much. I even run in a couple of them because they're just so good and they hold up very, very well. And I mean, every time I wash these shirts, they come out looking brand new. The only thing is they do shrink a little bit on the first wash, but left field accounts for that because they actually make them bigger initially. So this way you can wash it and break it in and shrink it down to your desired feel, which is again, mirroring the process of which t-shirts back in the 1950s, back in the 40s would undergo whenever people were to buy a brand new pack of t-shirts. This is just how it went. Cotton goods like t-shirts, jeans, all of the above really were not pre-shrunk. So this was a very common thing when brands would kind of oversize the garment to then allow it to shrink to the body. And this is another thing that really speaks to the historical accuracy as well as the love and the passion of Left Field NYC. And I mean, not to mention that this label is really incredible. It's got this real thick kind of feel that's not itchy. It's not abrasive to the skin somehow, some way, but it definitely feels real vintage, almost like you pick these up at a secondhand store. I mean, Left Field NYC is so good at world building and also replicating archival pieces that we all know and love. Next up, I want to throw a little bit of a curveball in there. This one is a really, truly special one. And it's honestly really impressive to see how this brand is able to manage what they do. And the brand in question is called Blue De Chof. And basically they are the makers and the creators of the heavyweight champion t-shirt, which in its own right really truly deserves the title. Not just because of the weight of the fabric, but because of the structure itself. The fabric itself is not a traditional jersey knit. It is something so much more. Something that I didn't even know was possible, frankly. Basically most t-shirts in the world are made from a jersey knit, which is a simple series of loops that allow the fabric to kind of stick together. But what Blue the Chof uses is that they actually utilize an interlock fabric as opposed to a jersey knit because it actually allows the fabric to feel much more substantial. It gives a little bit more weight to the fabric, but it isn't necessarily thick. And it's incredible to think that something like this is even possible. And they have this really dope diagram on their website. If you haven't checked it out, make sure to go check it out. But basically the heavyweight champion t-shirt from Blue the Chuff comes in at 250 grams per square meter, which is a real beefy shirt, but it doesn't feel rough or abrasive at all. In fact, it actually comes in much closer to what I would have thought a luxury t-shirt felt like way before I had experience with these because this shirt has such a silky smooth, already broken in kind of feel. And I'm really not sure how they were able to manage this. It just feels incredible. It also has this really high collar, which I actually really like. Usually I tend to go with the binded collar just because I like that look a little better, but I think the heavyweight t-shirt merits a collar that sits high on the neck just like this. It's got a little bit more of that casual look, which complements the longer and a little bit wider cut sleeves and chest. And looking at the sewing and construction, this t-shirt is so cleanly done. Basically, Blue the Chuff's mission is to create made in France garments that are eco-sustainable, but not just that. They want to use fairly and responsibly grown cotton, and they want to use dyeing techniques that aren't harmful to the skin because guys, there is a lot that goes into clothing dyeing and not all of it is pretty, I gotta tell you. So basically, these shirts are GOTS and OKEO textile certified, which basically 
means that these t-shirts have been tried and tested and are found to contain no traces of harmful substance and are found to only use responsibly grown cotton and is a truly exceptional garment that is made in France. And I mean, guys, who doesn't want an artisanal made French garment? This garment really feels truly luxury. And if you haven't tried one of these t-shirts out from Lou Dechoff, definitely make sure to go check out the heavyweight champion shirt. Next up, we got a brand that started basically dedicated to the reproduction of vintage and heritage style t-shirts. And the brand in question is Buck Mason, which is one of my new favorite brands. I love these guys. I love everything that they're doing. They have such a wide array of t-shirts that range from their Pima cotton t-shirts all the way up to their natural indigo dye t-shirts to their super slubby field spec t-shirts to my favorite personal, which is the Buck Mason oversized boxy tee. I mean, they have such a crazy offering of t-shirts, most of which are made in America. And again, is a brand that is dedicated to making and perfecting the t-shirt as closely as possible to the vintage pieces that they have in their Buck Mason vintage archive. One of my favorite basic everyday t-shirts from Buck Mason is the Pima cotton tee. It's just the simple all around perfect white t-shirt that isn't too heavy. It's got a little bit of slub, but not too much. And the thing with a lot of other companies is that when they want to make a high quality t-shirt, a lot of times they make them heavier weight just because they feel like the weight makes the garment feel more luxury than what it really is. Buck Mason does no fluff. And basically these t-shirts come in at a really nice lighter weight that feels very soft, very smooth on the skin. Something that's really easy to wear. It's easy to tuck it in. It's easy to wear it untucked. It mirrors that kind of vintage fit, but not to the degree that left field NYC does it. So if you wanted something that was a little bit more ambiguous when it comes to classic menswear, then the Buck Mason t-shirt might be a better fit for you. And if you really wanted that super vintage fit, then definitely the left field NYC. But this t-shirt has that really significantly lightweight feel. It's super breathable. It's easy care. It washes very well. And the details of this shirt also mirror that of a high quality luxury shirt that you would expect. It's got that binded collar, but this time they actually use a little bit of a thicker rib as opposed to a thinner rib knit cotton. And basically this piece actually has to be knitted separately on a completely separate machine and then cut and sewn as opposed to just using the same fabric. And this allows the fabric to have a little bit more stretch and it also gives it a really nice kind of look. I mean, these are the details that Buck Mason really takes to heart. They're so good at design. They're so good at what they do. And they really have truly impressed me with what they're doing in the past couple of years. My other favorite is their 90s boxy tee, which has a little bit more of a wide body, a longer sleeve that just really gives this oversized look and this is made from a natural cotton so it's not dyed it's not bleached it's got a little bit more of that egg shelly kind of color much like the blue to chop shirt but at the end of the day these kinds of colors like i said when it comes to whites they range so greatly but you could still wear these t-shirts just as you would as a white t-shirt but again the feel the drape the look everything about these buck mason tees is really an exceptional t-shirt from an exceptional brand now for the last t-shirt on this list guys the 316 two-pack pima cotton tee is a highly coveted t-shirt not just by me but also by the entire raw denim community as a whole basically the raw denim community is a kind of subculture that revolves around hard wearing clothing that ages well that lasts and has immense durability and doesn't just stick within raw denim but extends out to all different facets of menswear and t-shirts is definitely one of them and basically 316 actually started off as a raw denim brand dedicated to making long lasting hard wearing clothing that is going to age down that's going to fade well and is going to make for an absolutely exceptionally beautiful garment and 316 took a stab at trying to perfect the raw denim heads t-shirt and they really did it this is another t-shirt that is also made in america but this is from the eye of a brand that is dedicated to the creation of hard wearing long lasting clothing. And it's also very convenient that they come in the two pack. And I mean, dude, these t-shirts have such an amazing look. This is definitely more on the timeless side of fits. It's not exactly too slim. It's also not too baggy. So you could kind of size down or size up if you want to manipulate that kind of look to your kind of taste, your style, your liking. I mean, 316 has a clear idea and a clear identity of how they want their t-shirts to look, how they want their t-shirts to feel. And it's just going to be a garment that's going to sit in your wardrobe and is going to serve you very, very well for quite a while. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this list of some of the five best t-shirts you could buy. I'm definitely going to do a lot more. I have so many other brands in mind. I'm really excited to try them out. I just figured I would get my feet wet with this and see how it goes. And also, if you guys have any recommendations for white t-shirts that you like, definitely let me know down in the comments. For all I know, your submission might make it into the video. I've also got a really interesting video coming, something that may or may not be related to how a white t-shirt is made. And it may or may not be with one of these brands that I mentioned 
mentioned, but I don't want to say too much, so don't tell anybody. But anyways, with that being said, thank you guys again, and I'll see you next week.